Brave man, I take your sword, but I give you your life. Cavalier. Sir. It is said that the pirates of the Caribbean are lawless, faithless men. But from now on, I will call any man who says that a liar. You could give lessons in chivalry to anyone. I offer you my hand. You are a man of honor. Take back your sword, sir. I ask only that you'll not use it against me. Until you're free tomorrow. Cavalier, you have my solemn oath. All's well that ends well. Stiller. You stand guard. And now, sir, you will forgive me. My man must bind your wrists. <coughs> right away, Carmo. The disappearance of two noblemen is sure to alarm the authorities. We'll have to barricade ourselves in here. Take whatever you can find and push it up against the door. While Van Stiller and I finish the barricading, Carmo, you and Moko, go search the house for weapons. Bring back anything that might be useful. We'll make another barricade, down here on the stairs. Hurry up! My furniture! It was imported from Spain! My poor furniture! Huh? There's a group of soldiers down in the street. They're coming this way, Captain. Carmo, what did you and Moko find? This flintlock, a keg of powder, and an old halberd, sir. Put the powder in full view and prepare a fuse. We might blow up the whole house that way, Captain. It's risky. If we're being attacked, we have the right to defend ourselves in any way we can. Not my house. It's all I have in the world. Say something, your lordship. Find us easy to take, Captain. 
Moko, go up to the attic and see if there's an escape route up there. Open up! Do you hear me in there? I said open this door! Why? Who are you? I'm looking for the notary! I'm afraid Don Torillo is momentarily indisposed, sir. Uh, and if you're looking for teasing uh, noblemen, they're indisposed too. And will remain so. Until tomorrow, you can talk to them then. Let them come out, or I'll break down the door! Do as you like, sir, but it's my duty to warn you there's a keg of powder by the door. Try to get in, and I'll have the fuse lit. The house will explode along with the notary. And you yourself, sir, along with your men, if you're foolish enough to try any stupid heroics. Your name, Tom. If you were a pretty young maiden, I'd have no hesitation in telling you if you catch my drift, my dear sir. You dare mock me? I'm running out of patience. So you want our little chat to come to an end? Very well, so be it. <laughs> Carmo, get the powder keg, attach the fuse, and light it. Aye, aye, Captain. There she is. Ready. <gasps> <gasps> Would you have the slaughter of innocence on your conscience, sir? I beg you free the Count and his nephew. I'll see to it you come to no harm. Very well, sir. But only if you accept my conditions. Tell me what they are. First, remove the guards. Send them back to their barracks. Second, procure us a safe conduct signed by the governor so that we can leave the city without let or hindrance. <gasps> Sir. Why would you need a safe conduct, sir? Captain, I don't like the looks of this. There's no need to worry, Carmo. I think everything's going rather well. That fellow, sir. The one that just came running up, talking to the man in the red coat. He's one of the masks from the tavern, and he's telling him who we are. I saw them. Yeah. It's you. They were there. He has to be silent, sir. They're pirates! I thought so. Take aim, men! Ready to fire! Wait, Major! Hold your fire! Not yet. There is no escape, sir. Surrender! Or I'll use force. As you wish. But you'll be signing your own death warrant. Better to die bravely in an explosion than ignominiously at the end of the rope you have waiting for me. Your life will be spared. Ha! <laughs> Take the word of a Spaniard? You ask the impossible, sir. While you come to your decision, my friends and I will have a bite to eat. If we have enough time before the house blows up, we'll drink to your health. Adios. Stiller, our guests will enjoy dinner more if their hands are free. But Captain, this is no time for merrymaking. Death isn't quite as close as you fear. The powder keg will work miracles. Stiller? Well, as it seems this is to be our last supper, it would be a shame to waste all those good victuals I have under the bed. Indeed. <laughs> you like the honor? Indeed. Wonderful, Don Torillo. Didn't anyone ever tell you that you can't take it with you? <laughs> oh, oh, yes, yes. This 
this will do you no good in your grave. <laughs> you baby what? I always am. Mm. <coughs> when I've got a bottle of the right stuff mm. to help me think. Mm. There's nothing like it. <laughs> Sooner or later, you will have to surrender, Cavalier. It will give me great pain to see you in the hands of the governor. I warn you, he is a ruthless man, utterly devoid of human kindness. So am I. On occasion. And I have a score to settle. Take up your positions! Carmo, go see what's happening. Stiller, go call Moko. Yeah. <laughs> Your health, sir. And yours. Captain! More men with muskets are coming. There are about 50 of them down there now. They're blocking the whole street. So, they've come up with a plan, it would seem. Thank you. Captain, I knocked out a few bricks and made a way out. Worth is weight in gold. <laughs> Up on the roof, quick! Come on, light the fuse! here before the house explodes! No, oh, my beautiful house! I'm ruined! I'm ruined! Beyond that gate. This garden belongs to a friend of mine. Yes, Don Juan Garcia. I sincerely hope you'll not use this as a chance to betray us to the governor, sir. I have not forgotten that I owe you my life, Cavalier. <laughs> Thank you, Your Lordship. Come on now, climb down quick. It's our only way to safety. Recognize your master's friends? <sighs> Forgive us, your lordship. We heard the explosion and. We're sorry. And we were a bit confused. No matter. We're chasing the pirates. They fled into the forest. Luis. But, your lordship. Open the gate, Luis. Do not disobey my order. Yes, your lordship. <sighs> Quickly. <sighs> I am proud to be of service, Cavalier. Men like you should not meet their end hanging from the gallows. Thank you, sir. <sighs> I hope we meet again one day. It will be a day of great rejoicing for me. Thank you.
were here waiting for us. Well, here we are. <laughs> I was right. <laughs> you were. <laughs> No, Carmo! That's Sheba. If you kill her, you'll be cursed for all eternity. Sheba's the guide and protectress, and Layla's the shaman. Well, I'm not scared of dying, but I can do without having my soul cursed. Why is she blocking our way? I get it. There's a reason we've come through all our difficulties without a scratch. Every one of us was under Layla's protection. Huh? Is it much further to your hut? Yes, sir. At least another two hours on foot, I'd say. We have to get the Red Pirate's body. Let's go. You don't have to go a step further. Stay here. <gasps> It's dangerous to go to Moko's hut. The woods are full of soldiers. I rolled your brother in my cloak and brought him here. He's in a boat on the other side of the ridge. You can go there whenever you like. Huh? <gasps> I thank you with all my heart for what you've done. How can I repay you? Whatever it is, you have but to give it a name. To come with you. Uh. <laughs> Never let it be said that Emilio of Rocanera, Lord of Ventimiglia, has failed to keep his word. You are welcome. Oh! Uh. <laughs> huh? Ooh. What? <laughs> Rum is a lovely name. And your new friend, Mr. Carbo, what's he like? Tell me about him. Huh? <laughs> huh? <laughs> you mustn't mind if he's a diamond in the rough. His heart's in the right place. Go show him you love him. Ha, ha, ha.